right hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious okay so in our previous video we looked at uh, how to find the LHCF and the LCM of numbers using the successive division approach and now I mentioned that you can also solve for HCF and LCM using prime factorization which we have done in one of our videos you would like to see that and we've also definitely we're definitely going to see it here what is prime factorization that's expressing a number as a product of its prime factors so we are saying that we can actually apply that to solve this or to find our HCF and LCM and these are examples so let's begin with this so let's start with 24 2 can go remember in prime factorization you divide starting with the smallest prime factor that's the prime number that can divide it so 2 can divide 24 and is a prime number and we'll get 12 and 2 can go again and we'll get 6 2 can go again and we'll get 3 and finally 3 now we have 1 so what it means is that 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 this is the prime factorization for 24 now let's do for 18 so here 2 can go 9 2 can no longer go 3 can go 3 and 3 finally you have 1 that means 18 is equal to 2 times uh, 3 times 3 all right so you now have the prime factorization of the two numbers this is 18 and this is 24 so all you now need to do to get your HCF, remember they say we should get HCF and LCM. So let me take my A to be HCF. So all I need to do to get HCF of the two numbers is simple. Now come to this prime factorization and look for the common factors. So there is two here, there is two here, I'll pick one. Now there is two here, there is no longer any two here. So anyone that doesn't repeat in the two numbers, you don't pick it. So that means just check the number of twos here. Check the number of twos here. Pick the least. The number of twos here is three, and the number here is one. So I just pick only one two. And then times three here is one. Three here is two. The number of three here is one, and the number of three here is two. So I'll just pick the least, and the least is one. So I'm just going to pick only three. And then, therefore, my HCF is what is 6. So this is just that prime factorization approach. And then, while for LCM, your LCM using this method is now very simple. Immediately you finish your prime factorization, it makes the work very easy. You don't even need to divide again for LCM. All you need is that prime factorization, and it is enough to finish what you want both for lcm and for hcf okay so let's quickly get our lcm now now in hcf you pick the least number while in lcm you pick the highest so look at here two occurred three times and here two occurred only one so i'm going to pick three twos so two times two times two i'll pick three of them and then times here three occurred once here three occurred twice i'll pick two times so you pick the highest occurrence for LCM, while in HCF you pick the lowest occurrence. Therefore, my LCM for these two numbers is, this is 8, that's 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, and 24 times 3 is 72, and that is my LCM. And it makes your work fast and simple. Okay, so let's do the prime factorization. This is 112 and the second one is 154. Okay, so we begin with 2. 2 here is going to give us 5 and then we have 6, that's 56. And uh, 2 can go again to give us 28. 2 can still go to give us 14. 2 can still go to give us 7. And finally, 7 will give us 1. Now let's come over to this side. 2 can go here to give us 7, 7. Yeah, 7, 7. 2 can no longer go. So 7 can go here to give us 11. And finally, 11 is a prime number to give us 1. 
So the prime factorization for this one, we can actually put this in index form. That's 2 raised to the power of 4 multiplied by 7. And whereas that is your 1, 1, 2, whereas your 1, 5, 4 is equal to 2 times 7 times 11. There's no repetition. Therefore, what that means is that A, my HCF for these two numbers, is simply equal to pick the lowest, 2 occurred 4 times here, and occurred once here. So you just pick 1 times 7 occurred once here, and occurred once here, you pick 1. All right, 11 is just 1 here. It's not even here at all. That's 0 times. Therefore, your HCF is what? 14. And then what about your LCM? So our LCM is going to now be equal to four, 2 occurred 4 times here. That's highest occurrence. I'll pick it. 2 raised to the power of 4 times 7 occurred once, once. I'll pick 1. And the 11 occurred 1 here. Occurred 0 times here. I'll pick 1. And so when you multiply the whole of this, whatever you get is your LCM. So that's what prime factorization does for us. And uh, like I said, I'm going to leave this as an exercise for you. In this case, you have to get the uh, 48 in it uh, as a product of these prime factors. Do it for 80, do it for 100, and then pick the terms to get your HCF. Also pick the terms to get your LCM. So let's go to this example four. Now, this is another way we can also see this example. You can see in this case, they, instead of giving us the numbers, they have already given us the prime factorization. And uh, you know, in those days, what I'll usually do, I will now come and multiply out and start looking for the LTM by successive division, which is a lot of work. You are just giving yourself work. Uh, someone that has given you in a prime factorization form has even finished the work for you. So all you need to do is just do what we have been doing, pick the common term. So we begin for HCF. Uh, let me go this way. So for A, HCF, so what is it going to be? I'm going to look here. Uh, there are three of them, so I'll, I'm going to compare the three. Two occurred two times here, zero times, so I'm not going to pick. Immediately you see zero, that means you won't pick two at all, no matter the number here. So you pick the least occurrence for HCF. Now, what about 5? Five? 5 occurred once here, 2 times here, and once here. So we pick once. What about 7? Seven? 7 is here, here, but it's not here at all. So you won't pick anyone. Therefore, the HCF of these three numbers is actually 5. And then what about the LCM? So the LCM is now uh, another beautiful one. 2 occurred 2 times here, 0 here. 3 times here, so you pick 3 times, that's 2 raised to the power of 3, then times 5 occurred once here, 2 times here, once here, you pick the highest, which is 2 times, 5 raised to the power of 2, and finally 7 is 0 here, 1 here, 1 here, you pick 1, and that's your answer. So when you multiply this out, you will get the LCM of these three numbers. And then finally, for the last example here, or should I allow you also to look at this? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. This one is already in powers, so index form. So you just look at the number on top. The number on top tells you the number of times the digit occurred. So 2 occurred 2 times in the first one, occurred 3 times in the second one, and 3 times in the second, in the third one. That means our HCF, you will pick the lowest occurrence, which is 2 raised to the power 2, <coughs> times 3 occurred 2 times here, 2 times here, once here, you pick 1. Then 7 occurred 2 times here, 0 here, once here, you will not pick at all. And I think that's all that we have for HCF. That means our HCF, we can actually multiply this one out, it's a little bit little. So is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, so finally for HCF, sorry, LCM, what is it going to be? The highest of 2 is 3. That's 2 raised to the power 3. What of 3? 2 times, 2 times, 1. So we pick 2 times. What of 5? No 5 here. 5, 1, 5, 2. We pick 5, 2. Finally, 7, 2. No 7, 7, 1. We pick 7, 2. And whatever you get from this is also your solution. So, and this is a 
other thing I said I was going to show us, it makes your work also faster. And please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, like and share our videos with your friends in secondary school, even in grade level 5, 6. People preparing for common entrance and first school living examinations. People preparing for junior work. People preparing for senior work and even university students. This YouTube channel will be very useful for them. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.